Hi, I'm Dami from eLearning Channel Museum. How was the last week lesson? Was it too hard? I have been worrying about the part because the song was really long and hard. If you didn't finish the first part, then that's okay. It will take at least three weeks. So don't worry about it. Today, we're going to learn the second part, which is starting from the second refrain and the ending part. So I guess it will be easier than the previous video because you already know the sum of the rhythms and also chords are repeated. So let's see how it goes. Now we will start from the second repeat, which is right hand on D and left hand on F. Ready? One, two, three, go. One, two, three. right hand come to C. So when you shift the chord, remember the C here. So your left hand is keep moving to the same position. So if your eye is marking on the top note, then it's easier to find. So do that way instead of looking for the chord. Got it? So start from the C chord. One, two, three, four. The same chord. which is E, G-sharp, B, E major chord. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And right hand F, left hand A minor. One, two. So you play right after. One, two, three. So at three, your left hand will repeat it, but not your right hand. You have to keep holding. You see it? So one, two, between three, four. This is one of most confusing part. Let's go together. One, two, three, go. One, two, three, four. Got it? And keep going. One, two. And next chord is these two notes are the same, but bottom shifting down but change it to finger number one to five. This is easier. Some people play in three because it's hard to move in finger numbers. So playing three, I guess you have to change to finger number two. That's easier later on when you speed up. Okay, so let's go back to the same place. One, two, three, four. And the next note is now shift it down. You see how I do? Little bit. Finger number two is a stay on the same note. Left hand, bottom note just shifting down. That way you can go right away. F, F, and then coming up. And then one more off to E flat. One, two, down, two. So this part is chord changing every two beats. So one, Shifting down to and F down. You see? And then you're adding your right hand. So now let's go back to the very beginning of the measure 84. Very last line of the third page. One, two, ready, go. One, two. Now here changing every two beats. One, two, 
and right hand is GCF. One, two, three, four. Do you see it? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now keep holding every note. I didn't write it on the score because if I keep writing it like that, it looks really confusing. So it goes one, two, three, four. And then after that, left hand keep holding, right hand plays, soft drop. One, two, three. Here, this is most confusing part, the right hand. The rhythm sense is going nowhere. Now, there is a way to count the rhythm for this kind of part. We call one and two and three and four and divide by eighth note. So if we start from measure 106, starting with two count. So one and two and and then rest. Three and the next one is eighth note. So four and one and counting one and two and three and four and and once you get the rhythm then speed up a little bit faster like this one and two and three and four and 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 so you can count that way later on just leave it out counting and play one two three four So the very last line and the very beginning line is kind of confusing because of the rhythm. But except that if you know the chords and if you know when to match them with your right hand and left hand, then it should be okay. This time, I'm going to tell you a couple of tips to play the song. First of all, the pedal, you have to change every chord. For example, in chorus, there is many C chords. So the same chord to come in four times. One, two, three. I'll just keep holding the same chord and then shifting after changing it. And shift it down. And then you change it again. Change it again. Change it. Two. And then keep holding. same chord just keep holding it the next tip is when you play the song you have to play the melody line like singing so if you see it here from the beginning like talking like speaking or self talking like instead of playing each note Instead, think about the long phrase or the feeling of how you should express. And never play the left hand over the right hand because right hand is the main melody line. We all want to hear it the melody line rather than the big and heavy chunk sound. The left hand is supposed to be background color. Of course, without a left hand, the sound will be really dry. left hand it makes it really 
actually pretty blended a sound. So you have to play a left hand definitely, but not too loud. Okay? Now, when you play the left hand chord from the refrain, don't play it heavy because it is a three notes or three notes. If you play it at the same time, then it's really heavy and loud. So what you have to do is just one motion, like a bouncing. drop your hand has to be set and then drop release and then lift it up drop lift drop release do you hear it yes that's another important technique when you play rock music now this time i'm going to play a whole entire song in slow tempo Let's see. One, two, three, go.
This song is very, very hard, and it's going to take at least two to three weeks to play it well. So if you have trouble playing it, just take it out the refrain part, and you can play it. Or if you like it, the beginning, you can just cut the beginning and practice it. You don't have to play a whole entire song. If you can, that's better. But if not, that's fine. If you think this is way too hard, then just leave it out, and you can go to the next lesson. That's fine. Or at least try it, refrain, chorus part. Since the chord coming, there is lots of skill that you can practice and you can improve. I hope you have a wonderful time and we'll see you next week. Bye.